Today, guys, I want to introduce you to uh, a wonderful little hymn book that has that song. I have the Joy, 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 and many other really neat ones, and it's called Making Melody. And it was originally produced by the Bible Memory Association, headquartered out of St. Louis, Missouri, founded by a guy named N.A. Wojcik. And their goal was to get kids to memorize lots and lots and lots of Bible verses. And they had a really neat program for doing it. If you memorized enough verses throughout the year, you got to go to camp. And they were fantastic camps. Um, one of them is now owned by Tri-City Baptist Church. It's called Southland Christian Camp. But back when I was in high school, it was called Miracle Camp. It was in Ringgold, Louisiana, and we went there every year for in, you know, in reward for memorizing our verses with Bible Memory Association. Now, the son, I understand, of N.A. Wojcik is trying to resurrect the ministry under a different name, and uh, I don't know how that's going, but I do know that it was just a fantastic organization, and this little hymn book is great. I'm going to give you just a, a sampling of a few more of these, but I have the Joy, Joy, Joy is one. Uh, and it's just a great little song. And then there's, uh, there's some, some wonderful songs in here on soul winning, which uh, Boy Us Baptists should be all about. Um, we, uh, we talk a lot about winning souls, and some people are pretty diligent at it. I'm not all that diligent, but we should be. And um, there's just uh, some really good songs in here. There's one called... Uh, lead me to some soul today. I'll, I'll sing it for you. It's just a wonderful, wonderful hymn. Wonderful song. Lead me to some soul today. Oh, teach me, Lord, just what to say. Friends of mine are lost in sin. Another one right below it called Lord Lay Some Soul. Lord Lay Some Soul upon my heart and love that soul through me. And may I nobly do my part to win that soul for thee. Two great little tunes and what I like about these are the tunes are really well written so many of the modern songs are just poorly written musically the the melody goes all over the place you can't follow it the hint the the harmony is is jacked up and boring but these songs that came from the the 40s and 50s and even earlier than that are very well written musically they they work with the circle of fifths very closely and they make sense they're I, I would say architecturally in a musical way they're they're well built sort of like our buildings in the of the past uh, were well built and now we have terrible architecture everywhere you look it's just horrible but um so these are some great songs not only uh <clears throat> musically but the words are just fantastic um here's a page that's got two that nobody ever sings anymore um one is called um, Isaiah heard the voice of the Lord. 
and I'll do that in the courting style just to give you an idea. Uh, let me think. What key? Yeah, let's do it in the key of E flat. Isaiah heard the voice of the Lord, and he said, Here am I, send me. He longed to do the will of the Lord, so he said, Here am I, send me. Here am I, send me anywhere for thee. And when I hear the voice of the Lord, I will say, Here am I, send me. A cute little chorus that's simple and fun and catchy tune. You can memorize it in about five minutes and then you can sing it all day long and it inspires you. Another uh, more complex song that's just right across the page is one by Beatrice Bush Bixler. Say that five times fast. But she was a great hymn writer of the past and she wrote a song called Life is a Symphony. Life is a symphony. It's a little bit hard. <laughs> you can see I messed up. But you can tell from the first few bars that I got right that it's very well composed. It's got wonderful harmonies to it. Um, and it just goes on about how life is a symphony. Praise the Lord of Calvary. No more a stranger. Uh, be, no more a stranger. He is the arranger of my symphony. Just fantastic song. Maybe I'll... <laughs> brush it up, get it better, and sing it for you separately sometime. But really, I just wanted to introduce you to this hymn book for now. And there's one more that I want to play for you real quick. It's called Got Any Rivers You Think Are Uncrossable. And I'm probably not going to be able to find it. No, I can't find it, but I think I know it. Let's see. Got any Got any rivers you think are uncrossable? Got any mountains you can't tunnel through? Got special eyes in things thought impossible? Okay, I think I'm a better piano player than a singer, but maybe some people think I'm no good at either. I don't know. But um, anyway, that's your intro to Making Melody. Google it. Find it on Amazon. Order a copy for your family. Um, learn some of the songs. I'm going to be posting more of these songs in the future because I, I really want to resurrect some of them. And I uh, hope you enjoy that. I think it'll be a blessing to your family. Have a great day.